In this lesson, I want to discuss the blood vessels that are associated with the pancreas and spleen, of which there are two, and then I'll discuss in the primary branches in which they come off of. And of course, we have the pancreas here, we have the spleen here, just a quick reference for what we have in this diagram that will help you guys draw and associate these structures together. Now, just as a quick reference, because there's a few things I do need to discuss that would come here, if depending on how we have everything positioned, of course, you guys learn coming out from the stomach here that uh, the stomach has been removed here, but coming uh, coming just about here, you would expect to find the aorta. Now, the vena cava, I'm going to have it. I'm going to terminate the vena cava up a little higher because I need to show other vessels coming in. Now, the, those two vessels, now, remember, again, we had the celiac trunk. The celiac trunk divided into three major vessels that we had to know. And, of course, one of them was the splenic artery. Now, I will want to go in and I want to use red again for the splenic artery as it would come down off the celiac trunk, come off of the spleen, I mean, off the pancreas, and go to the hilum of the spleen, supplying the spleen with blood. Now, this is a branch off celiac trunk, so since this is a distinctive vessel, these guys aren't completely associated with each other in terms of the two that we're going to talk about, the splenic veins. Celiac trunk divides and provides the, uh, the splenic artery, which will run on top of the pancreas. The splenic vein, however, will come from the spleen, and I'll draw it here, coming over the spleen, over the pancreas, and then what it will do is unite into the hepatic portal system. And so it is derived from the hepatic portal system of blood vessels. Splenic vein will go into there, go into the hepatic portal vessels, that will go into the liver, that will be associated there, so that's actually going to the hepatic portal vein. So two distinctively different blood vessels that are associated with the uh, spleen itself. Splenic artery, splenic vein. Splenic artery comes from celiac trunk. Splenic vein comes, comes, goes into the hepatic portal vein that will work its way into the liver. So this will go to the liver. And that will give you guys uh, some different, different uh, ideology, different approach to, to view these particular blood vessels. It's a quick sketch. Um, you guys will have a little bit easier time drawing them on paper, but it gives you guys a pretty decent idea how these guys will work and the di distinctive differences between splenic arteries and splenic veins. And this includes my video on the blood vessels associated with the spleen and how they travel uh, alongside with our uh, with our pancreas and this concludes my video thank you